the conversation between nicodemus and jesus continues how to be born again jesus tells him or shows him how to be born again Here the Lord uses an analogy which Nicodemus can understand as a Jew, as a Pharisee. He told him, think about Moses. What he did, did in the desert when people were bitten by snakes. Moses was told to raise, hoist a bronze serpent on a pole. And all that they had to do, those who were bitten by this, they had to do was just look at that bronze serpent on the pole. They will be healed. Just look at that serpent, they will be healed. Then Jesus says, one day this will happen. I will be raised up on a pole. I will draw everyone to me and those who believe in me will be saved. One day Nicodemus will look at the pole and Jesus on that pole and he will be born again. May I say it again? One day Nicodemus will, in three years later, he will look at that pole again. Oh, Moses, the serpent in the book of Numbers and Jesus told me three years ago about Moses and the serpent and he said one day I will be taken upon the pole if you look at me you will be saved and there is Nicodemus carrying the body of Jesus to bury him he was born again. Now for us to be born again the same way. Only one very easy just look at the cross. Here is a bit of psychology and spirituality. What do you, what do I see on the cross? When I look at the cross, what I see is who I am and who God is. How much I am loved, how much you are loved, that God is infinite love and mercy. At the same time, I can see my human weaknesses, my failures, my sinfulness, with all my human limitations, my suffering, my sorrows, I can see myself very clearly when look at the cross. Psychologists would say, the moment you realize what is wrong with you, the healing process has started. The moment you realize what is wrong with you, the healing process has started. It's about a realization. This is what I am and this is what he is, what I am called to be. But the foundation is I am loved so much, forgiven so much. In spite of my failures and shortcomings, he loves me so much. And I put myself in his embrace. In that realization and surrender is all the healing that I need and you need, you are born again.